Um, just, just my family was the biggest thing. You know, I trust my family and, and you know, all my teammates to, to kind of help me out with the, the process. And, you know, I, I love it around here, and I love being a, a volunteer. And, you know, n no better way to finish it than, than try to finish it the right way and, and, and be here with my brothers. Casey? With three of five of you guys announcing on the line that you're coming back officially for the next season, next year has the chance to be one of the most experienced lines in the SEC for sure. How beneficial would that be? I think it's huge. You know, I'm obviously a little bit biased, but, uh, you know, I think there's no better place to start than the than the O-line. I think we're kind of the, the foundation of any team, you know. So having experienced guys like us leading the charge, you know, I think it's a good a good scenario. Brent and then Adam. Cooper, how stressful is the process of trying to make the decision on what to do? And how did you handle it the, the last month of the season? Can you just kind of walk through how you sort of part, compartmentalized it all until you got to the point of the decision? Um, my, my story is probably a little bit different than most. Um, I didn't get to play for most of the beginning half of the season, so it kind of snuck up on me a little bit. I didn't really even think about it very much until it kind of really got to the time where I had to make the decision. So uh, my, my situation is probably a little bit different than folks, and, and I'm not really the type to get super stressed out about much anyway. Um, I'm pretty where my feet are and, and pretty even keel. So I, I didn't have that much of a hard time, and, you know, it's, uh, it's where I wanted to be. So it was okay. Uh, I think the biggest thing I can do is is provide comfortability. You know, I think I can, I can make stuff a little bit easier on them. Just the day in day out stuff when it when it comes to practice and helping ID stuff. You know, I've done that stuff for around here for a long time with even more experienced guys than Nico. So, you know, just just playing my part to the highest level I can, and and then in you know in leadership, you know, help him out and support him, and and you know put him on a pedestal a little bit. So, uh, just just do my part at a high level. I guess in addition to, to coming back to, to win things and have on several, you know, finishes and all that, I imagine, you know, improvement as a player is something everybody wants to do every year. So when you kind of break down how the season's gone for you, what's the next steps or where you want to take things as you go? Uh, main thing is just stay healthy this season, you know, and, and start every game and, and you know, be a, be a really good leader for everybody around me. I think I make people around me better. So just keep doing that and keep getting better. and. Whatever I do, you know, get stronger and, and more explosive and everything. I just just try to get better at everything that I do. You talk about Nico. What are some of the little things that you maybe noticed from him that you know, as this year, a lot of folks have kind of taken over as a rookie year next year? You you can tell, you know, he's he's a great person. You know, he's very humble and, and eager to learn and, and ready for his opportunity. You know, you can tell he's been raised very well by his family and by his parents. Um, just just a really good kid, you know, and, you know, that's that's the foundation of it all, just being a good person. And then, you know, that gives you a big chance to do anything you want in football. He's a hard worker and, and obviously very talented, and that, that kind of goes without saying. But he's going to continue to get better every year here. Um, Kate, Kate is a huge part in kind of everything I do. You know, he's a guy that's been there, done that. And he kind of just told me to, to, you know, just figure out what I wanted to do. You know, cut out all the outside noises and what everybody else wants you to do. Just be where you're comfortable and, and your heart will kind of lead you to, to where you're supposed to be. And, you know, a lot of prayer and stuff went into it. And I think I figured out where I wanted to be. Having Nico come back. Having Nico back, did that help him make the decision to come back? Yeah, I mean that that's that's a big part of it. Just just wanting to help him out, you know. I, I think that you want to be there for all your teammates and everything. I think that's something that I feel very strongly about. But yeah, I, I never really worried about Nico going anywhere.
Well, that that kind of played into, you know, looking at the NFL and everything. You know, I think it's a big strong suit if you can go into a, you know, your draft process being super healthy and, and showing that you can stay healthy a whole year. So that, that was one side of it for sure. Anything else for Cooper? All right. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll have